Now that you have successfully downloaded Navigate, it's time to start exploring what this platform can do for you. On the left side of your Explore screen, you'll see a ton of options that can help you accomplish important tasks, like scheduling an advising appointment, finding useful resources on campus, or even viewing your class schedule. However, in this video, we want to show you how to plan your schedule and register for courses. Click on the Planner tab at the top of your screen to get started. This screen helps you plan and register for your courses in Navigate. On the left side of your screen is your academic plan. This is the overview of the courses you are required to take in order to graduate based on your academic program. You may see one or more descriptors next to each course. These descriptors tell you if you've already completed the course, if you are currently in progress of taking the course, if you've planned the course, or if the course has a prerequisite you must meet prior to enrolling. If you need more information, just click the course to see more details. If you want to explore courses that are not listed in your academic plan, you can search for a course by title or course ID. Click on the course to plan it into your schedule or click the heart button to keep it as a favorite. You can easily access your favorites tab on the left side of your screen. In Navigate, Planning your schedule is easy. First, add a term in which you want to take classes. You can even plan for future semesters to create your ideal schedule. Next, use the drag and drop feature to place each course in whatever term is right for you. Navigate also allows your advisor to send you feedback on your plan. If you have any feedback to this plan, you'll find it on the right hand side of your screen. Once you have planned the courses you want to take, it's time to register. Click on the Pick Times button to continue. You will start by editing your preferences at the top left of your screen. If you are only open to taking classes in certain locations, for example, you can select the locations where you are able to take classes. You can indicate your weekly outside commitments, and you can even indicate times when you are busy, so you do not select classes during these times. Be careful, these preferences may mean that you see fewer course sections, so try not to limit yourself too much. Now you will create your schedule. On the left side of your screen, click a course to view the sections offered for that particular semester. Please note that certain sections will be available, while others may conflict with other courses or already be full. Browse the options of course sections and click the Add button to add the course to your schedule. Do this for all of your courses. Your schedule on the right hand side will show your semester at a glance. On top, you see your monthly timeline, which shows the date that each of your courses starts and ends. Next, it shows you your weekly schedule, the times and days your courses are held. Below, you will get to see more details about each course, including the date, time, location, and room number. But you're not registered yet. Once you have your schedule, click the register button on the bottom right of your screen. You will then see when your registration is officially processed. After that, click on the Pay Tuition button where you can pay your bill, sign up for our payment plan, and check the status of your financial aid. If you have any issues or need additional help, you can always schedule an appointment with an advisor who can assist you through this process. PGCC is here to help you navigate your journey to academic success.